Now, another very interesting story was Anita Nderu. Now, Anita Nderu is five months, uh, she's, five, she's five months in with regard to motherhood. And we're all super excited. We are all very, very happy for her. She's a mom, all of that. But she does tell us a few milestones that she's gone through in her life. And I think we're just going to say them really quickly in summary. Mm -hmm. One, she was super excited to find out that she was pregnant last year around the same time. Two, she was really, really excited about the baby, but she really felt the need to keep it a secret and not tell anyone about it, not tell their friends or family or even social media. And the gynecologist was very, very opposed to that because they said, in case of anything, in case you lose the baby, which was the reason why they didn't want to give the information, first of all, you would need the emotional support of all your friends and family and everyone else, so you definitely should do it. Among other things is... <clears throat> That the first time she heard her baby's heartbeat, she just constantly would listen to it. Like she would listen to it over and over and over again just to feel like the realness of the thing is happening. And then finally, she says that when she was in San Francisco and she was just chilling, laying down, she looked past um she was trying to like you know she looked down and all she could see was her baby bump she couldn't see her lady bits and that's usually i think the first sign of knowing and yeah regardless your belly is going when you look down and you cannot see your lady you have to look for other things to try and find other things you know it's it's very hilarious but at the same time it makes a whole lot of sense i am so excited for her she said she was excited none of the pregnancy ills and all of the bad stuff um took away from how much she enjoyed the pregnancy and she thought um she never wanted it to end until the baby was born and obviously we know the name of the baby is kaya gasheri catalina raftery and i love it i love it for her mm -hmm. i'm pretty excited were there some of um, milestones that you had with liam or some of the things that you remember and you're just like oh my god First of all, like right now, just seeing him walking around and talking and talking back, mm -hmm. it's so cute. And you're like, I so this baby was just crying the other day. He was just born the other day. I couldn't even finish my samosa because I was going to labor. And now here he is talking about school is so boring, ma. <laughs> I, I, and then he has this thing where he says, do you know? So uh -huh. like, do you know I love you? Aww. Do you know I missed you today? So it's very cute to see the transitions of everything. And I'm just so happy. It's just happy happy seeing a kid grow up it really really is the suckling mm. noises according to anita and the th them about growing their little baby bed it's so cute i can't imagine yeah.